Hey y'all. It's March the 10th, 2016. And if you're one of my very special subscribers, or perhaps you've seen a number of my videos, you understand that I discuss a lot of things on this channel. A lot of things might rub me the wrong way. And also, I, I discuss the tribulation, the ongoing tribulation, as described by the Bible. But I discuss a whole bunch of stuff, including the presidential election and things like that. Just complete absurdities I like to discuss. A lot of y'all might be like, well, hey, uh, it's very doom and gloom here on this channel and stuff. You know, it makes you maybe want to curl up into a ball and hide somewhere in a closet. Or perhaps it makes you want to uh, go somewhere and read the Bible just as fast as you can um, nonstop and see if you can't figure your way up out of this rabbit hole that we're all getting into. I would suggest that you read the Bible a lot if you, if you had time to do it. And if you don't have time to do it, you got to make time to do it. It's a good book. All right. Um, but also, I, I don't mean to always be doing gloom, all right? Because that's not how I live my life and stuff. There's a lot that's very heavy about it, all right? Um, and the reason for this is that I listen to God when he talks to me and stuff. And I know a lot of y'all, uh, you might think I'm a crazy person, but he talks to me. And he'll talk to you if you just listen. you got to listen really, really hard. Right? you got to understand when you're being given the signs, all right? And so I'll listen, you know? And uh, also take time off to enjoy myself and I, and I see what's going on in the world and I try to counteract that and there's a lot of opportunities to do so all right um I have been talking like I said about the presidential election but you got to know that that shouldn't be what you're most concerned about right now all right in fact there's a lot more serious things going on as well very tribulating things but at the same time you should be concerned probably concerning yourself with good things and opportunities and being one with earth and all sorts of other stuff. Like for example, I have a garden. Um, I, I like to farm and stuff and garden and things like that. It's very relaxing and soothing. All right. Not only that, uh, as, you, as you might be feeling, the economy is not so great. It used to be a lot more great um, a few decades ago. It's been on a steady decline. So you might be feeling it in your pocketbook. All right. So uh, if that is the case, you might find that you can spend a lot less money on the food that you need and you need it um, if you just grow it. All right, and so, you know, that's a video of my garden and stuff right now. It's early springtime. I got mint growing. Uh, I got um, some cilantro. I got some onions and stuff. Uh, I just planted some tomato seeds. Uh, I haven't planted them in the ground yet because, you know, a late fight of frost might come. So planted them, and I, I have them in little uh, containers so I can bring them inside if it gets cold. Uh, bell peppers, you know, onion seeds, just cucumbers, things like that. And I plan to plant more, all right? And, you know, a lot of y'all, y'all are in my situation necessarily. I'm in a very rural type of situation, but I, I do have to remind you that it is possible to grow urban gardens and stuff, and you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of uh, tutorials on the YouTube and the internet and the interwebs that you can see that will help you do it, all right, and not only that, uh, in reference to the economy, it's real bad, like I said about the tribulation, it's bad, and it is going to get worse, if you don't plan for it to get worse, well then you're going to be rudely awakened, right, because it absolutely will get worse, all right, um, so with that in mind, I would also like to suggest, if you haven't already thought about it, is to waste less. I think you'll find that um, in America, you know what I'm saying, we have a tendency to use up, use up, use up stuff, and consume stuff, and then throw most of it away, all right? And then when we don't have stuff anymore, we, then we buy more stuff and consume more stuff, and then we throw a lot of that away, all right? Perfectly useful things, all right? We don't have to throw away. We don't have to uh, necessarily waste. And that's not to say that hoarding is a good idea, because I don't think hoarding is a good idea at all, and it, it's not healthy. Um, some of y'all might disagree with me out there. I'm not saying the hoard stuff. I'm saying uh, you can be creative. Say if, if you have these bills that are plaguing you, and you don't have very much money at all, you can still do for yourself if you just be creative. Like, for example, with my garden out there, right? I'll have you know that I, I'm blessed in the situation that I came to this property, and this property had a lot of resources. Now, none of these resources are perfect. Uh, like, none of these uh, pallets and things, uh, these big old wooden uh, things in the ground that I put, None of them are straight, none of them are perfect, all right? But there's no sense in getting rid of them and trying to save up all my money so I can go to Home Depot and buy perfect stuff. That don't make sense. So in the meantime, what I do is I take less than perfect stuff and I make do with it, all right? Uh, and and there's certain things that you could use in the garden. Uh, you're going to need pots and stuff. And you're going to need all sorts of tools. Um, and you're going to find that you can actually get these tools from out of the garbage that you're going to throw away. Instead of throwing it away, you use them, all right? And save your money, save your money up. Because also, at the same time, it's your, your money, 
it's a good thing. The love for, for money, that's bad, right? But money is actually a good thing. It's a tool that you can use. And the best thing about the money being a tool that you can use is you can use it as a tool to vote, right? The presidential election, like like a lot of us know, is rigged, right? And it's being very, very manipulated. So a lot of people think, well, my vote doesn't count. And to that, I would have to probably agree with you for the most part. No, it doesn't. However, your dollar bills that you still have, you're going you're gonna to have less of them soon, right? You could still vote with them. Right. And by that, I mean, you could patron, uh, you know, small businesses that you like, local businesses and stuff. Make sure those people still have money. That way they can still provide you with goods and services. All right. Uh, but you can't do that if you wasted all your money at the Home Depot or if you wasted all your money on things that you don't need. All right. Like iPhones, to um, just to name a couple like the Xboxes. And, and I mean, maybe that's good if you have a lot of money to burn. All right. But if you don't have a lot of money, there's no sense of spending all of your money on some Air Jordans. Okay. They're not going to make you good at basketball. Instead, just don't buy any more shoes and use the shoes that you got and save your money up and don't you don't buy all sorts of new equipment if you got equipment that will do. All right. And that's going to help you out. You know what I'm saying? In the long run, because like I said, it is bad. Shit is bad. It's going to get worse. It is going to get worse. You need to plan for it. But at the same time, uh, you need to feel the tribulation coming. You need to be aware of what's coming. But at the same time, you need to enjoy yourself. All right. Maybe you don't want to enjoy yourself, but I'm suggesting that you do and have a good time every day. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just use the, the earth. If you can, and, and make it a beautiful place, plant some stuff, uh, grow some food if you if, if you feel like you got time to do it, or get to know somebody who does grow food, and he'll give you some of your food if you're nice to him. All right, um, that's pretty much it. Also, you know, I did want to mention, uh, like I said before, waste is actually going to become very important. All right, uh, just to touch on that one more quick time. A lot of us throw away stuff. I want you to look at your trash can, and just think about that for a second. Because a lot of us, man, we got to empty our trash cans every day. All right. I know I definitely was um, in, in that group of people where, you know, I accumulate so, tra- so much trash, um, you know what I'm saying? On an everyday basis, I would have to empty it. A good way to um, to understand what kind of efficiency you are having is to monitor just how often you have to take out the trash. All right. If you can get it to, if you can cut it down to emptying the trash uh, once every two days, well, you're doing good. Once every three days, you're doing better. And the less and less you have to throw out stuff, the better off you are. And you're going to see that, you know, your money is not going to fly out of your pocket as quickly. You know what I mean? Um, and anyways, like I said, enjoy yourself. All right? You probably want to read the Bible. It's a good idea. Uh, you probably want to enjoy um, just what Mother Earth gives you and stuff. Things to look at. You, you might want to eat good food so that later on you don't have to pay enormous hospital bills because you chose to eat very uh, unhealthy food because it was cheap at the time and you didn't feel like cooking it yourself. Well, I understand if you don't feel like cooking it yourself and stuff. It takes time. But it's not going to be fun being all in the hospital all the time. And it's going to really decrease your funds later on when you're going to the hospital a lot. All right. Um, also, just quick before I get on out of here, your water, you live in America, all right, chances are in, in other places too. But if you live in America, um, your best investment is to find the uh, best water filtration that you can find. You need to filter your water regardless, all right? Regardless. I don't care where you're getting it from. Uh, make sure that it's filtered, all right? Make sure you're getting all your vitamins and minerals and stuff. But make sure that you drink a filtered water, all right? Because you're going to find out that if you're not drinking filtered water, uh, maybe you didn't want to pay money for it. You're going to find out it's going to cost a lot more money down the road because your water has been poisoned. I don't want to get you all scared because you can you can find a way out of that. There's very cheap ways to get um, purified water, to get filtered water. If you just think about it, be creative. But you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to drink a lot of water, uh, you know what I'm saying, so that if you do have toxins in your body, that will help get them out, like I said, so you don't end up in the hospital. I hope all y'all, you know, are having good times, right? Because, I mean, we're already aware that it's a tribulation, but uh, you need to have good times. You need to enjoy yourself. You need to show people how much you care. God loves that. He loves seeing that, all right? It's all good blessings in your life, all right? Um so don't always be panicked and get all your blood pressure up, is what I'm trying to say. Um, even though a lot of times you'll see me, and I'll be ranting and raving. It's March the 10th, 2016.